gentlemen. <laughs> is the only one among all of us that has its own action figure. <laughs> Come by my office, you'll actually see the action the towel action figure that was top out. <laughs> How's that? Good. <laughs> ah, feels better already. <laughs> Things don't think about other things. Thing thinking about is a people thing. People think things about things, things people want other people to think. Which is why an informed personal perspective is both liberation and enduring armor. Stone Mountain, Georgia. July 1960, I was 11 years old. It was two months after my very first cast photo and my very first leading role as the great detective Sherlock Bones who rescued Princess Consonant in the land of wisdom. Remember, there are thousands of things to learn and teach, but only eight parts of speech. I've been doing this a long time. Anyway, Stone Mountain, Georgia. As I recall, when you stand in front of it in the official viewing area, it is huge! It is this gigantic rock. It is so big you cannot see the top, you can't see the sky. It is amazing. And you look up there, and because they cut away these figures, what I remember are the shadows, the shadow play on the rock. And you look up there, and there's... There's, there's uh, uh, um, Robert E. Lee and, and Jeff Davis and, and, I don't know, Cher, somebody. <laughs> and, and when you're looking from the official observation platform, it's like the size of a hockey rink. It's all tiled out. And uh, there's a, a, a chest-high information panel that runs, I swear, 50 yards. And it's who, what, when, where, how many train loads of grant off on that. And over on this side was a ranger station and bathrooms and food and, you know, stuff. And behind it was a parking lot, and in front of it was a parking lot. And then over on this side was a big meadow and uh, campgrounds and picnic area and all that. Now behind this parking lot back here, there's a road. And if you take that road, you wind all through the Georgia hills and you come out at the big parking lot up on top, and that's where I was. First of all, it was like 10 degrees cooler. It was so lovely. I don't know what's in bloom in July in Georgia, but the air was rich in fragrance and it tasted clean like after a rain. And above were these huge, gently roiling, pain of white fluff balls, 3D against the perfect hue blue. But I wasn't looking at that. I was looking out on the rock at a dog, because I'm a dog sack. Any dog people here today? You know, you know, we can spot a good dog a long way off. This is a good dog. Had curly brown hair, long lanky legs, had about two years old. He had some attitude. He's out there patrolling across the rock. And I saw him when he got out there alongside the edge, along that tree line. I saw him all of a sudden go, and I realized he's sliding. He got too far out on the face, and old man gravity was taking him for a walk. Well, he flattened out into a furball pancake, but he couldn't stop. And all along this rail, more and more people started seeing a dog in trouble. And the people noise exploded. All these people calling, come here, baby, come here, come here, come here, come here. And they were clapping and snapping their fingers and every kind of whistling. Begging, pleading, beseeching, imploring, please run to me, run to me. And the noise got louder and louder as that dog slid and slid and slid. And finally, as he went over the edge and out of sight, the people noise peaked. 
and it changed into falling leaves. Oh, 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 oh. And it got down so low, I could hear this old lady next to me. My, my, my. Well, when I was a kid, she was an old lady. Now she's a chick. <laughs> you laugh, your day is coming. Anyway, um, I'm not an oh, oh, oh kind of guy. I'm a dog sack. You can't tell me about dogs, please. Dogs don't come back the way they went. That's not what they do. Dogs show up where you don't expect them. I'm telling you, he's going to come up on one of these two sides. Now, that side's pretty far away, but with a dog, you can't rule it out. I'm betting you marbles and chalk. He's going to come blasting up on this side over here, back through those woods, probably covered from nose to tail with puckerburrs and goat's head briars and ticks and his tongue out by his head. Hey, Dad! You wait. You watch. Any second, he's going to come blasting out of one of these two sides with his tongue out. You just wait. That's when it sunk in. That's when I understood what had just happened. What I, what we had all just seen, really happened. Just and the people noise changed again. And this time it had a lot of air. <sighs> well, this family had kids, and they had seen their dog. And up whirls a whole different kind of pain cloudy wind, just like electric popcorn. Here comes that people noise again, cheering, shouting, yelling, clapping. I looked where everybody was pointing, and bigger than Dallas, blasting across that parking lot at a dead gallop was that curly brown haired, long legged, little bitty dog, picking him up and slapping him down, his tongue out like that. He hit that grass and roll, 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 roll sat up, started licking his butt. And a hundred people went, hey! And the family said, look, look, he's not living with Farmer Jones. Look next to that little bitty picnic table. Let's go get him. Hey! And the thing this people thinks of, when this people thinks of the Confederate War Memorial at Stone Mountain, Georgia, the thing I think of, beyond the continuing education of one sort but young dog, I think of that generous slice of everywhere up on top of that big rock that instantaneously interwove the human tapestry of care, concern, alarm, loss, lamentation, joyous and hilarious revival based on the fortunes of someone else's dog. And it wasn't about what we look like or where we're from or where we're going. It's about who we are. It's about the human heart. I know, I know, the human heart is not the universal currency, not the leverage to unwrong every oath's delight. How some ever, should such a word exist. <laughs> it's where we gotta start if we're ever gonna get it right. At least, I think. Thanks, everybody.